what's going on guys hey so Darius has gone back to his season he had a report for summer um, working with Thomas he's got one more month for me for the last phase he's going to essentially be working on that concentric phase kind of putting both those other phases together um, you'll see what today's workout is it's gonna be a lot of acceleration and some upper body pressing and pulling I uh, hope you guys enjoy check it out Good, here we go. Arm pump drill, we got two times, let's go. Go, 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 time, good. Let that thing come back a little bit. Don't stop it, you know what I mean? Let that stretch, put that pre-stretch. This right here is gonna sling you back up. So if you put that on stretch, think about it as a rubber band. Farther I pull that sucker back, it's gonna shoot forward, forward more, right? Here we go. We're going wall drill. We're gonna do two, three quick sets, okay? First one, we're gonna go right. We're gonna go three on each leg, okay? Right leg, right leg. Ready, go, go, go. Good, rest. Now switch, and I want you to focus more on the scissor. So don't just worry about just stabbing it down. Remember, you gotta flex the other hip at the same time, simultaneously, simultaneous. All right, here we go. Ready, and go, 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 go. You gotta go, Thomas, you gotta go. Time, good. You're on the field. So all you're gonna do is start on this comb. You're backpedaling. Basically, you're kind of shuffling back, but at a diagonal. Break, get the shoulders out front. Break hard, break down again. Remember, beat the drum, come back. As Soon as you get to this cone, you're taking off. All I want you to focus on is once you're getting back to that cone, I want you to flex that torso, brace that torso as hard as you can. What that's gonna do is when that arm wants to come way out, it'll actually suck it back in. Does that make sense? Yeah. It won't fling you out, it won't twist you here. There's not gonna be anything efficient. When I come back here, boom, 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 and I'm ready, boom, if I'm consciously here, I'm tight and I'm everything's going forward as opposed to opening up or going all these other ways, all right? Try that one thing. Break. Break. Go, 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 go. That boy. Tight, stay tight, stay tight, break. Good. And go. Pop, 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 pop. Get it. Go, go. Break. Uh. See the difference? Especially on the first cone, that was the tightest you've looked. Second one was still good. Only difference with the, with the second one or your second break when you know you're going 10 yards linear is you didn't get the shoulders out front okay. enough. Get aggressive with it. Get aggressive with it. Get that lean and go, all right? Everything else looked perfect. Everything else looked perfect. All you're gonna do, you're shuffling down. You're touching each one with your hands. So I want you staying low. Then you're coming back and you're getting up the, uh, up the road five yards. Hard as you possibly can. It's a shuffle, but you're staying low. Ready. And go. Push, 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 push. Come back. Go, get up, get up. Good. Push, 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 get up. Atta boy. And go. Come on, come on, come on. Punch, punch, go. Get up. Good. This can be a med ball chest pass. Ball stays right underneath the chin on your chest, okay? Elbows staying tight. I don't want to see you flare out. Everything's from right here. Feet are underneath my shoulders. I'm coming from here. Boom. Hips go back. I come down. I want your spine about right above parallel, okay? Right above parallel for, to the ground. And then you're exploding out. It's a broad jump into the wall as hard as you possibly can. Movement initiates with the legs. Keep the core tight. Transfer that energy into an all-out push. All right, you got two of those. After you get done two, you're gonna walk over. You're just two five pounds right there on the bench, okay? What I want, you're gonna go back into that movement where you're here. Now I'm down, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades back as high as I, as far as I can, and I'm just gonna draw straight up like I'm doing a plate press, okay? You're gonna go 20 repetitions. We're gonna go three rounds of this, all right? Pop. Let's go. Uh. Good. All right? Good. Let's go over here.
You know how I know if you're coming off two feet or one foot? If you give me that, you know how girls shoot a basketball? How do girls shoot a basketball? No. Right? The leg comes back. Yeah. That's how I know you're only getting off advantage off one leg. So you got to come here. Boom. I My heaps are underneath me. Boom. When you land, I'm landing in broad jump. You get what I'm saying? Shoot out and land in that broad jump. Explode. Uh. Quality reps, everything we do. Last week we figured out your one rep max. This week we're going concentric phase. So week one of concentric phase is 40%. Moving the bar is fat of your one rep max. Next week is 50%. The following week is 60%. Moving, even though we're going up 10% each time, you're moving that bar as fast as you can. I'm under control, shoulder blades are back, butts tight, squeezing the bar. Everything's tight, locked in. Boom, I come down under control, explode up as hard as I possibly can. There's no time frame on coming down. I just don't want to see, boom, you get what I'm saying? I want to see control, like basically one to two seconds, maybe tops. Explode that bar up as hard as you possibly can. Four, good. So after this, you got three by three speed. So this is all about the strength, okay? okay. So vamp it up. Squeeze the bar and squeeze your ass and press. Here we go. There we go. Up. Oh, easy, easy. Bang this next one. You got to lock. You got to lock. Go. Go. You got to lock the elbows. Lock your elbows. Lock your elbows. Let's go. That a boy. Good shit. So basically what he's got this phase is focusing on that concentric. So this is the, the, the money round. We're putting together the eccentric, isometric, and now this is all about how fast, how fast we can produce that force, rate of force development. So what he's doing is for week one is 40%. Last week, we determined his one rep max. This week, we took 40% of that. He's doing three sets of three with 40%. Next week, we're going to bump up anywhere from 45 to 50%, and we're going to go ahead and do four sets of two. Last one was five sets of one with 60%. He went from 55 to 60% of that. And the whole thing is for him to be able to move that bar as fast as he possibly can. That's really what we're focusing on here. Up. Good. Up. Good. Up. Last one. Up. Good. That's it. One more. Up. Good. dump the buckets okay it's a, it's a rear delt and external rotation exercise so I start here my back is flat okay chins tuck dumbbells are underneath my thighs okay underneath my hamstrings I'm coming from here I'm lifting it up you're rotating externally rotating back as you dump the dumbbell like you're dumping your thumb behind you boom I'm coming basically two three inches forward and I'm coming straight up. That's the only momentum you're having, just so it takes it off it a little bit, okay? So it's here, boom, and I'm almost like you're flexing your biceps at the top here, okay? This is your finishing position behind your back. You got eight repetitions. Start with 30, if you need to go up, you can. Then you're going to the band, you're standing in, you're doing the Y, just like you're doing YMCA, band snatch, okay? You got 10 of those. Eight and 10, you got three rounds, let's go. be a breeze, 10 of them. Use 
that hip. Don't throw your hips too forward. It's here and then it's straight, all right? I don't want to see this shit. Tighten up, let's go. 10, come on. Nine, come on. Eight, seven, let's go. Six, come on. Five, let's go. Four. Three. Two, under control. One, that a boy, that's how you work. That's how you work, good, get a shot of water. So that's it for today, you guys got to see basically what we were working on. Kind of more, a little bit more sports specific acceleration. So taking everything that we've been working on as far as getting his technique right, now putting him in a setting where he's gonna see some of those hips or feet, footwork, translating that acceleration over to what he's gonna be doing on the field and just kind of cleaning it up. Got into the bench, his bench has been exploding through the roof, adding that pop into it, that power as well on the concentric phase. Got some auxiliaries, some core. That's it, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll let you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you.